Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This song is just really on me. I'm not singing. I'm going to read two of the stanzas in the song because the message is so heavy duty and it applies to what is going on now. And the song is long, so I'm only doing the two stanzas, basically like maybe two or three sentences. But I want you to hear the message in this thing. I, I am so serious. This is really scary the way things are going. I want you to hear this loud and clear with your heart. This is Where is the Love? And I'm going to read from the second sentence. Overseas, yeah, we try to stop terrorism, but we still got terrorism here living in the USA. The big CIA, the Bloods, and the Crips, and the KKK. But if you only have love for your own race, then you only leave space to discriminate. And to discriminate only generates hate. And when you hate, then you're bound to get irate. Yeah, madness is what you demonstrate. And that's exactly how anger works and operates. Man, you got to have love just to get it straight. Take control of your mind and meditate. Let your soul gravitate to the love, y'all. Okay. Now, Pat's Two Cents. That is a song by Black Eyed Peas called Where is the Love? Listen, we cannot move off of our emotions. This is how the devil stirs the pot. And he uses different people to do so. He feeds off of your anger, your frustration, your fears, your anxieties, your even some of your bigotry, those of you who are having issues with people of other persuasions. And you feel this innate hate. You feel this this disgust, this disdain, you, you, you are um, repulsed by these other people. You don't know who they are. You don't know what their souls are like. You don't know how God feels about them, but you don't like them. But listen, whatever the case may be, whether you're angry at the government because of, the, of your financial situation, whether you're angry at your family because of where you started, whatever it is, if you feel like you've been cheated from life, Whatever your problem is, that gives you no right to attack another individual. I was listening to a video where this man, it was a Muslim guy, and he was saying that he was scared. He was walking in fear. There was a woman in Louisiana. I shared this on the other video. It was a woman in Louisiana beaten. I was watching a video of a riot where a woman slapped a guy. I was watching where they were almost pushing the police. The police had all their gear. I mean, I can imagine how afraid some of them had to have been, wondering how crazy was some of you gonna act. Why do we do that? Tell me, you have systems, you have governments, you have attorneys, you have teams. You saw the other groups when they demonstrated, they demonstrated peacefully. So my question to you is what is it going to accomplish for you to destroy? Just your inner satisfaction? I got them, buddy. Is that what it is? Is that what it all, all boils down to? You get mad at them, so you destroy us. Huh? Think about it. Think about what sense that makes God says you are to love the Lord with all your heart soul mind spirit all of that and you are to love one another as you love yourself guess what as much as some of you may not like it some of you Christians that includes Donald Trump your love has to go beyond his fallacies your love has to go beyond your fears and your doubts about his leadership. Your love has to go far enough for you to take time to pray for that man. You pray for him, God answers your prayer. Guess what? We all benefit, baby. 
Remember who's in control. You're turning to man. You're turning to the lower elements to handle the higher issues of life. Even the angels in the Bible, after uh, Jesus was resurrected from the grave, the people came down, you know, to see their Messiah and, 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 and anoint him with oil and all that. And they found that his body was no longer in the tomb. And the angels asked the question. And I ask you the same thing with a different connotation. Why seek ye the living among the dead? You're looking in the wrong places for your solutions. You're wreaking havoc to bring peace. Hello. Does that make sense to you? Think about it. You got to stop this craziness. Children will die. Grandmas and grandpas will die. Some of you might die. And guess what? The beat goes on. And you'll be remembered for a hot minute. And you'll be like dust in the wind, baby. Everybody forgets about you because life goes on. So instead of wreaking havoc, instead of being self-destructive, instead of generating and stimulating hate, racial divisions, tensions between police and citizens, issues, violence, Riots. I'm asking you to please stop. As a fellow American, I am asking my American family here in this country, please have enough class, enough brains to stop before you cross the line.